Good evening guys from Ocotilla Wells, California. It was a gorgeous day today. It was borderline hot for us. I don't know about you. I'm a little hot. I'm looking forward to the cool fresh air on this ride. You know, and speaking of the heat, this is going to be a problem that we're going to have to deal with. And that kind of nicely leads into the topic we decided to cover today. What are we going to be doing in 2017? Big things. Big things. And we're not going to do it in your normal fashion. So why don't you go for a ride with us? First up, Shell Reef. And I used to come here and play a lot. As you can tell, those uh, crevices up there are a blast to uh, go mess around in. The thing I think is really cool about this place is they have fossilized clam, scallops, and oyster shells. Oyster shells. Yeah. So we're gonna go in chronological order now. And first up is we're not going home in April. We decided to stay down in the lower 48 for a few more months, which is gonna pose interesting issues with the heat. Yeah, we decided we're going to go back to Kansas and uh, see harvest at my family's farm. We're actually gonna do harvest. Okay. We're gonna help out and be mm -hmm. active members of the harvest team. That should be pretty cool. Heavy equipment, tractors, combines. Mm -hmm. Off to the next stop. But did you see those wildflowers on the uh, way over here? They uh, are starting to bloom and you can see the bulbs sticking up out of the desert. Well, we were gonna try to make it out to the pumpkin patch, but daylight is uh, getting the better of us. So we just decided to pull over and finish up our uh, 2017 activities. While we're uh, hanging out down here in the uh, lower 48 waiting for harvest, we're going to uh, swing by the Overland Expo in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, which then segues into another adventure that is going to take a lot of work. But we are going to completely transition out of our house, out of our current motorhome, out of our current lifestyle, and RV around the world. That's a goal for the summer of 2018. That's pretty realistic. But that is going to be a massive undertaking. And we're going to bring you guys along through the uh, preparation and all the way up to the adventure. Yeah, we have to decide what kind of vehicle we're going to get instead. And where we're going to start because that's a point of contention right now. Yes, somebody wants to head to Europe and I want to save money and just head south down the Pan American. So since we're going to be changing gears in 2018, that means next winter will be different. We'll be staying home so that we can do all of the preparation for this trip. I'm pretty excited about that because we get to share winter in Alaska with you guys and that's really something we haven't been able to share on this YouTube channel yet. Pretty exciting. And I'm looking forward to it. You know, there will yes. be trips out to remote cabins. We'll do... All kinds of Alaska great adventures. Trust me, you cool will stuff. not be bored. And we also really love our town of Seward and like the sense of community. In case you're wondering about Cuba, it's still on our radar. But we had to buy a lot of camera gear this year. So that has kind of uh, chewed up some funds. And also the ticket prices have gone up. They were around $400 out of Tijuana. Now they're up around 800 or so, but I know prices change all the time. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. We look forward to uh, having you guys ride along with us all the way through 2017, 2018, and around the world. We'll see you tomorrow.